What's going on guys, Rob from Geek, and in this video I just want to walk you quickly through all of the Google Ads URL options that are available to you. So this is really simple, it's not, like I said, it's going to be a quick video, it's not that difficult. So if you log into your Google Ads account, if we go into a campaign, let's go into an ad group here, and... We'll do chain link fence company come over to up here to ads and extensions go into ads and you'll see here once we go into edit and add you'll be able to see here your url so this is the final url this is where you're going to put where you want your traffic to go all right really really important that you i can't stress this enough that your website obviously this one is not secure because it's a it's a demo domain pretty much it's a placeholder very really important that you have your uh that the URL you use in Google Ads is secure, HTTPS. All right, I can't stress that enough. Google likes that, and um, you should definitely have that. They're probably this is that's probably why this is to ensure. Yep, yep. See, so this is that's why I got a little red flag here. They're telling me, hey, this is okay to use, but you should be using something secure, HTTPS, whenever possible. So that's uh, something to keep in mind too. So this is where you'll come. You'll swap in your final URL, which is where your traffic's going to go from your ads. You have some options down here <clears throat> to add like a tracking template or um, some more value parameters down here. This is more advanced stuff for just basic ads users. You don't need to worry about this stuff. And most of the tracking template stuff you can do at the account level. So you don't, you really don't have to worry about that unless you're highly advanced. And chances are if you're watching this video on Google ads you know URLs stuff like that you're not gonna need to know any of that stuff so this is the most important thing it's right here the final URL so make sure that's where you uh, enter all of the uh, or I'm sorry that's where you enter the URL that you want your ads to go to and another thing that's important is to keep in mind that Google only allows one URL per ad group and it's got to be the same URL right so we couldn't have you know um, your business here dot co in this ad and then in this ad have your business dot com Google's going to disapprove your ads, all right? So I, ideally, you want to have the, the same URL for all of your ads in a campaign. Your business here dot co, and then I can have inner pages like slash you know uh, chain link fence or slash vinyl fence. That's fine, but as long as the root domain is your business here dot co, that's the most important part. Is that your root your root domain is what you're using your final URL for all of your all of your ads, okay? Again, this is very, this is very basic stuff, but if you want to go through and create a new ad, you would come up here and choose your ad you want to create. So just do text ad, and you can see you just put your URL here, make your ad, and hit save, and you're good to go. So that's it, guys. I mean, it's not a it's not really a long video. There's not really much to it. It's just it's uh, how you're gonna how you're gonna update your URLs and your campaigns, and also something that might be useful to you if you wanted to change your URL at the at the account level you can you can actually choose your account go into ads and you can choose all of your ads here edit change ads and just make sure you're choosing what kind of ads you're using if you're using both or all three make sure you do this for all three but let's say text ads and you can change if you whatever you put here you'll change your URL on all of your ads all right but again like I said if you're running you know responsive search ads and you just do this and you just change all only text ads it's going to get your ads disapproved because you didn't change the URL from your responsive search ads. You only change it for your text ads. You got to make sure you change everything if you're changing the URL. And if your ads keep getting disapproved, you can't figure out why. Obviously, just reach out to uh, AdWords Chat Support. They're pretty. They're pretty good with helping with this stuff. But that's the most important thing. Most important takeaway from this video. That's how you change your final URL in ads. And make sure that each ad group has the same URL. Okay, that's it. That's all it is. <laughs> Nothing else to it. So hopefully this video was helpful. I know it's more beginner-ish. Um, if you have a question, just obviously drop it in the comment below and I'll pop in there and help as best I can. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking the red subscribe button down on the bottom right of this video. And I'll see you guys in the next video.